Hey, Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, we're out here at one of our current sites. Got Aaron from Big Dog Construction Canada. 100%. Tell us a little bit about Big Dog. Uh, well, Big Dog Constructions, we're a full service general contractor on Grand Man Island in New Brunswick, Canada. Um, we do typically one, sometimes two high performance builds a year. We literally start at the footing, we go all the way through to finish, and uh, we're on site every day, so we have our hands in the details. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I steal some of them from Steve. <laughs> there you go. Well, today we're going to talk about the dining room area or dining area soften. So, a lot of you sit there and say, wow, that looks really pretty, but it actually has a couple mathematical reasons for its existence, right? If you look behind me, we have a seven foot wall here. So if I took the seven foot wall and the perception would be the dining area would stop here if that soffit didn't exist. And so that would put the center line at 42 inches. Well, if I put 42 inches and I put a table here, I really can't get half a table and chairs, right? And then Aaron's sitting, leaning up against the window. That's not a good thing. So by extending this out two feet beyond the wall here, that means that the center line gets recentered 12 inches. So instead of 42, now you're at 54 inches to the center line. Yeah, so Aaron's got it right there. That puts our table in. That gives us that additional space now to sit behind the table and actually be able to, you know, slide the chair back, move around, and have a comfortable space. So that's the math behind it. But I mean, I think you can see clearly here, Aaron, and maybe you could speak to it. You know, it helps define this space in the larger great room. It it really does. And I've been fortunate to see this in the framing stage before you actually got to start and finish. But it really does define this place. This line essentially just creates a room. This is like a whole separate room from anything else. And I just noticed this, and I know this wasn't something that uh, we talked about yet, this yet, but you've insulated about this panel. Well, remember the ceiling actually comes out to here, or the roof, there's a flat roof outside. So yes, we were forced to insulate. It's insulated to about here across there because that is actually part of the exterior roof system there. Okay. I was actually thinking you added a little insulation behind these panels just for sound to actually make this feel just a little bit more like a room. Well, it just certainly sort of doubles, yeah. yeah. I mean, it certainly doubles as that. And you know, now that you mentioned it, you can see this is probably right around just a little over seven feet off of here. And a lot of you might sit there and say, oh, wow, Steve, that's really low. This is a brand new house. But remember, this is a dining area. So most of the time, you're experiencing this room sitting down. So bringing the scale of that room down to something a little more comfortable makes for what I would consider a, very, a much more enjoyable experience. I don't want to go up top yet, but what I appreciate is the sight lines. I'm not going to tell anybody which direction yep. that is facing, but you're sitting here, you're going to have a lot of natural light all the time coming in this way. And you're having your back here, you're always going to feel warm, you're going to have this nice inviting view all the time. It's just yeah, it looks really good. Okay, I'm going to grab this one piece here because we can wrap up. And we'll just talk about this, because um, you'll, you'll appreciate this being the, from the finish side, right? Around this perimeter, we actually, you know, datoed out that to capture the plywood, rather than just butt it, right? You'd get some trim carpenters say, oh, you just need to push it up against that. The problem is, is that as the wood tends to move, now this is Roseburg's walnut veneer hardwood plywood, so it's not going to move that much. But in an effort to make sure that this joint is always a concealed wood-to-wood -wood joint, we dado it, wrap it around there, and then if things tended to move a little, it's got that space to do that movement. Yeah. Essentially, it's a slip joint for yeah. that plywood, and it's, it's lovely. The other thing I really appreciate is that it has this floating effect. 
Yeah. And it just, for lack of a better term, it just defines the space. Yeah. It works really well. When we get the rest of the cabinetry in here, it'll actually tie that walnut cabinetry to the ceiling and then obviously to the kitchen cabinets beyond. So, anyways, yeah. any parting words? I like the continuity. Everything is at the same level. If you check out the band at the top of this detail here, it appears to be continuous the whole way around. It's little things like that that you don't necessarily know why you like a space, but you just know you like it better than something else. Yeah, I say that all the time. You know, one of the things that I've learned from a design perspective is if I have to question things to try to understand them, then chances are that there's something missing, something wrong, something not aligned that forces me to think about it. When I just walk in and go, wow, that's lovely, and I don't question it, it means that all of those things were solved for, and you get to walk away feeling really, really good about that space. I find myself quoting Steve on a regular basis, or at least paraphrasing, um, because my friendship with Steve has forced me to think a little bit more analytically about stuff I see every day. So, all right, well, there you have it. Dining room soffit, the, the math behind it, the way to give kind of what I would call a re-perception, right? We're gonna move that perception of the size of the space over a little bit. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hit that subscribe button. Go check out Aaron. Aaron is on Instagram. He's on YouTube. Big Dog Construction has a great following. No better flashing tips, um, construction tips out there. Give him a follow. Until next time. One last thing. Days. One last thing. Uh -oh. Hanging out with Steve is groovy. <laughs> there you go. Long live our buildings.